everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video i hope you are all well and having a good weekend so today's video is a mixed shopping haul so i've got a lot of stuff from poundland i've also got uh, things from home bargains primark b m and asda i think that's everywhere so yeah, a bit of a mixed shopping haul. So I thought I'd just put it all together and film it in all in one video. So if that is something you would like to see, then grab your drinks, grab your snacks and please continue to watch. So before I start today's video, I'd just like to say welcome to my new subscribers because I've had um, a few recently. And as always, thank you so much to my regular viewers as well. So I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, I am still blocked up. I don't know whether you'll probably be able to tell uh, with my voice. So yeah, still suffering with uh, my polyps. Obviously, I probably will be now um, until I can get uh, my next appointment at the ENT at the hospital. So yeah, excuse me if I sound a bit nasally. Um, so this weekend, Harvey is home for his birthday. So um I think I mentioned it on my last video that it was Harvey's birthday on the 29th. He's a leap day baby, our son, Harvey. Uh, so he's just turned 20. So he's home this weekend from uni. So yeah, it's so nice to have him home because if you are regular here, you will know that I miss him so, so much. And he sometimes appears on my videos. So a lot of you know who Harvey is. Um, so this weekend is at home. So it's really nice. Um, but anyway, so I think I might only have this one thing from b and M. I I might come across because I've just shoved it all, all together. But this was definitely from b and M. So it is like a dupe of the Stanley Cups. Um, I'm sure you guys all know about the Stanley Cups. So it does say on there £6, but it was actually... Um, I don't think I've got the receipt, but it was either £3 or £4. It was reduced. I didn't know it was until I took it to the till. Um, it came in different colours, but I just chose this natural colour. It's a double wall drinking tumbler, tumbler 40, 40 ounce, can't speak, rotating lid offers the choice between straw and drink opening and a full cover for leak resistance. And it keeps things hot or cold for six hours. So maintains liquid temperature. So yeah, like I say, rip off of the um, Stanley Cup. So I just thought this was ideal to have with either cold drinks in or hot drinks to take out and about, to put in the car. I like to make sure I drink um, at least six glasses of water a day. So this is ideal for if I'm going out shopping or taking my mum out or whatever, that I can make sure I fill that up and it can stay nice and cold. So that's the first thing from b and I'll save Poundland to the last, I think, till the last shop, uh, because that's where I've got the majority of my things from. So next we'll move on to home bargains. So all the next bits are from there. So I've got my receipt, because uh, I always like to tell you the prices. So I'll keep my glasses handy so I can look on my receipt. So the first thing I got is some baking paper, not very exciting, but I hadn't got much left. So I picked that up and it was only 79 pence. Then I picked up some Easter trees. I'm going to um, trim up soon for Easter. I'm going to decorate um, uh, the house up just with a few bits for Easter. And I've got the glass Easter egg jars from Home Bargains. I've got them in again this year. The two, you get a pack of two, a larger one and a smaller one. So I picked up some treats to fill up those with. So I picked up the Haribo eggs galore and also the Haribo jelly bunnies. So they were, let me just tell you, uh, 99 pence. Both of those were 99 pence each. Then I also picked up a couple of the chocolate um, uh, wrapped Easter eggs. So picked up two of those and they were... Uh, 79 pence each and also a pack of the chocolate uh, bunnies and they were though no, the bunnies were 79 did I say that the bunnies were 79 and they were 99 so I picked up two of each so two bunnies and two eggs then I picked up some washing powder I do usually get mine from Aldi 
but I'm running out. I've only got one or two capsules left. So I don't know what these are like, whether they're any good or not, because they're quite cheap. They are the Iconic Flowers Non-Bio. So you get 20 in there, and I think they're £2 something. £2.69, so hopefully they're okay. And then I think this was the last, these were the last things I picked up from Home Bargain. I picked up these. I'm going to put one away for Harvey and one away for Kaya, our son and daughter, for Christmas. I'm up for Christmas. For Easter, I will also get them an Easter egg. But they are the chocolate orange, but with the uh, with crushed mini eggs. I'd like these myself, but they are a may contain wheat. So, obviously, with me having the uh, celiac, I'm not really supposed to have even the ones that may contain so, but I would love those. So the Terry's chocolate orange with crushed mini eggs, and I can remember that they was one pound forty nine. So that's B and M and Home Bargains. And put my receipts up there out of the way. Now Primark. I don't know whether I said I've got stuff from Primark or not. I've got um, something from Primark, so I'll show you that first. So, not a lot from Primark. Only one pair of pajamas. But I've picked up these pyjamas that everybody seems to be raving about. I'm hoping that they're going to fit me. I picked the bottoms up in a small. I picked the top up in a medium. So you buy these individually. So the shorts were, does it say the price? £4.50. Now, the shorts are like silky. They've got pockets, the elasticated waist, as you can see. I just think these look so much more expensive than what they are. I picked them up in this dark chocolate brown colour, as you can see. But they also came in a beige champagne colour. And I'm sure they came in other colours as well. But they were my two favourite colours. So I picked up the shorts, £4.50. And then I picked up the top. I got the top in a medium, £4.50 as well. So £9 for the set. And the top is like that. I mean, younger ones or whoever would could probably wear that out if you wanted to. But I'm going to have it as pyjamas. It has got the adjustable strap at the back, which I love. It's ribbed, which I also love. I love the colour. And it has got like the sort of uh, hidden bra bit as well in de underneath. It's not padded, but it has got that bra bit underneath. So £9 for a set of beautiful pyjamas. That was it, I think, <laughs> from Primark. Like I say, I've just like put everything together. Every time I've bought a few bits and I've thought, well, there's not enough for a haul on its own, but I'll put them together and make a mix shopping haul. Um, but I think that's it from Primark. Then I've got two bits to share with you from Asda. And these are both going to go in my mum's Mother's Day hamper. So I'm going to make her up a hamper for Mother's Day. Pick these both up from Asda. So the first thing, they had lots of pairs of socks. So one pair of ankle socks, size, size ladies, four to eight. They did have matching children's ones as well, if you wanted to buy like the mini me socks as well. So these were, I don't know whether it says on there, but I think there was two pounds. Oh, hold on, there's my receipt. Let me have a look. So the women's socks were two pounds and they had, oh, it says there. Oh, oh. God, Emma. Um, so they had loads of different styles, things with a different, uh, says different things on, but these say loving, strong, caring, brave, which I thought suited my mum down to a T. So two pounds for the Mother's Day socks. And then look at this cute artificial plant from Asda. This was only three pounds. Like I say, it's an artificial plant. It's got the little pebbles inside. And then it says, you're blooming lovely. How nice is that on there? So cute. So that's everything I think from Asda. Let's get rid of that bag. Let's get rid of that bag. I think now, if I come to anything else and it isn't Poundland, I will say as we go along that I think everything else is Poundland. So I should just go in any order. So the first thing picked up were some crisps. So these were two pounds each or two for three pounds. So picked up the Walker's Quavers and the Walker's Red Salted. So the next thing, my husband loves Snickers. So picked up a pack of four Snickers. They were one pound 75. Then Harvey wanted a couple of the packs of Super Noodles. These are ideal for him for a quick lunch. 
um, because with him being away at uni. So whenever he comes home, we tend to go and stock him up on a few bits and bobs for his food uh, for his house where he goes to uni. So we picked up two of the chicken super noodles. I don't know how much they are nowadays. They used to be ever so cheap, but I know obviously they've gone up like everything has. They are a pound each. Then he also picked up, these are also for Harvey, the Cadbury Crunchy Melts Chocolate Centre. Oh, they look lovely. 12 crunchy, crunchy filled cookies. So I'll just have a look at the receipt because I can't remember. No idea how much they are. Uh, can't find them. Two pounds for those. And then Harvey also wanted the Febreze Fabric Refresher to spray around his house um, down, obviously, again, where he lives in uni. So uh, let's have a look how much that was. I think it would be £2, something like that, don't you? Febreze, £2.50. He says he doesn't like the, I think it was Fabulosa one, I think he said he didn't like. So he wanted some Febreze, two fifty. Then picked up some toothpaste. Aquafresh toothpaste, I think that was about a pound. And then picked up one of the flower bath fizzers. These are in the Mother's Day range and they are only one pound. So how nice are those? A little flower bath fizzer or bath bomb for a pound. And then the last thing in that bag, well, I've got another big bag to share with you. Let me pull that one across. I love my Harry, Harry Bow Jelly Babies and I can still eat these because they haven't got um, gluten or anything of that in. So they were £1.25, they used to be a pound, but everything's gone up, hasn't it? So, And then I was really pleased with this tissue holder. So this was from Poundland. It was £4, I believe. Let me just check. Yeah, £4. Um, this wicker tissue box so you just unhook these and slide your box in and then obviously um yeah put your square tissue boxes in so i bought two packs of tissues to go with it now just as a word a word a word of warning um the other tissue boxes i think they were kleenex that they sold in pound van didn't fit in now i thought all this sort of uh, shape tissue box would be just a standard size but no <laughs> so make sure the boxes are, that you buy it fit in the uh, tissue holder so that was four pounds i think the tissues were about one pound each but i'm going to have this on my um bedside table because as you know as i've said i'm suffering with polyps and obviously my nose runs as well even though it's completely blocked up it's like a dripping tap um so yeah Good to have tissues handy and how nice is that yeah for four pounds i was really pleased with that so richard wanted these crinklies he really likes these the cheese and onion oven baked not fried and they were i think they were one pounds fifty uh yeah one pounds fifty for the crinklies so this is all from poundland so we also got some tea bags. I can't believe how cheap these were. Thai Foo one cup tea bags, a hundred in there for one pound. I thought that was so cheap. Anyway, <laughs> um, Twin Peaks, because, you know, if you've been here before, you will know I love it and I can still eat it. So pick that up and it's still only one pound. So next we picked up some Mother's Day stuff. So... I'm going to make up a hamper basket for my mum and a hamper basket for Richard's mum. So the baskets were only £1 each. And then also we picked up the straw or the whatever you call it, hamper shred, uh, the shredded paper. They were £1 each as well. So absolutely fab price. Uh, the hamper baskets did come in all the colours. They had pink, they had white and they had brown. So we got two pink baskets. And like I say, the shredded paper. So they were all one pound each. So we're going to make up two. So we have got them both a lovely mum cup to put in or mug. Uh, and they had a few different mugs in Poundland. They had ones that said Nan on as well as lovely mum. So picked up two of those. So one each. And I'm sure they was only one pound for the mugs. Which is a really good price, isn't it, for a mop? I'm sure they were. 
yeah, pound for the mugs. So they're having one of those each. And then the rest of the stuff is a little bit varied. Oh, I've got another twin sheets. Oh, I think I might have. No, that was for me. <laughs> right, so picked up. These are to go in one of the Mother's Day uh, hampers. The soft marshmallows. And oh, they'd be about a pound, I bet, wouldn't they? Uh, da, 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 one pound. And then Turkish Delights, again, to go in one of the Mother's Day hampers. They were one pound. A little pack, you just get four Fer Ferrero shares in there. Ferrero Rocher, however you pronounce it. I think they were one pound. Would they be a pound or were they more? Let me have a look. Uh, no, they were one pound as well. And then I've got a little Toblerone. Again, this is all for the Mother's Day hampers. The little Toblerone was only one pound. They also sell the really large ones in Poundland, if this isn't big enough, for four pounds. But the little one was only one pound. And then, I know this seems perhaps a little bit silly, but my mum loves this coffee. So I just picked up the um, NY coffee sachets. You get three in one coffee drink. You get 10 sachets in there for one pound. And they've got like the milk and the sugar, the three in one included in it. And then some drumstick squashes. And I bet they was a pound or something like that. They had, yeah, one pound. They have so much nice stuff in for Mother's Day. So if you're quick, obviously, it's Mother's Day next Sunday, isn't it? A week today from when this video is going out. Um, so yeah, you might have to be a bit sharpish though, because they do, they do sell out though, don't they? Though we have been in today and they did still have a lot left. So hopefully you'll be all right. And then a vitamin C hydrogel collagen face mask. So we got this, uh, pick this up. So it's a gel sheet mask. It says moisture boosting gel mask treatment, intensive hydrating vitamin C. Energizes dull and fatigued skin for a renewed appearance. I must say for skin things, I love anything with collagen in and anything with vitamin C in. Find it. You can never find what you're looking for, can you? I can't find it, but I think it was a pound. And then the last thing that I picked up was this bubble bath. This was slightly more expensive. Just checking. Yeah. That, oh, no, I've just got one more thing. Hold on a minute. It's out of the bag. But anyway, the bubble bath. So that was three pounds. So a little bit more expensive, but still not overpriced, is it? And look how nice it looks. Absolutely stunning with the ribbon round and the top of it. It look, looks absolutely gorgeous. So three pounds for the bubble bath. Like I say, so many nice Mother's Day. I think Home Bargains and Poundland both have fab Mother's Day gifts. But I think Poundland have got the edge this year just because they are so reasonably priced. Whereas some of the things in Home Bargains are a little bit more expensive. But yeah, Poundland absolutely smashing it for uh, Mother's Day stuff. So if you still need to get some stuff, definitely go to Poundland. And then the last thing I picked up. Didn't really need it, but couldn't resist. And it was six pounds, which I didn't think was bad for the size of it. It's quite a decent size. It is this wooden shaped rabbit. It's even got the little twine um, around there. And I just think, yeah, for six pounds, and it will go anywhere because it's just neutral, natural wood. I might even put it here on this sideboard. I might style it up on there for Easter. So, yeah, the, when we went in today, we got this one because some of this is over like a couple of times. But I picked this up today and last time I went in and looked at the Easter things, I didn't have this in. And I've not seen that this before in previous years in Poundland. So I don't know whether I've just missed it or whether this is a newbie in. Uh, but, yeah, for £6, pick that up. I'm really chuffed to bits with that. So that is everything in today's haul. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Please comment below asking me any questions or putting any video ideas forward or if you've perhaps uh, managed to pick up any of these bits or if you're going to go and see if you can pick up any of these bits. I think my favourites are probably the wooden bunny and probably this artificial plant from Asda. I think they're my favourite two things probably in today's video. But yeah, as always, please comment below because you you know I love to have a chat and back back and forth with you guys. Um, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, that would be fabulous, Emma Louise YT. 
and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Take care. See you all in the next video. Bye.